Hello friends! One of my previous videos was dedicated to the adapters for charging of some 20 volt batteries, more exactly. Correspondingly for the batteries. But there are situations when, for example, you have works device and its battery is flat and at the same time you have another batteries which are full so physically they are not compatible because of different sizes and shapes but in case we make the corresponding adapters will it be possible to use active energy battery with the works device or maybe works battery with the parkside device so let's consider this issue. Unfortunately, I have no active energy devices, but I have works angle grinder. And the Parkside vacuum cleaner. Besides the plus and minus terminals, here plus and minus, also plus and minus. Here we have T, thermal sensor. On the park side battery, it's near the minus terminal. And also here we have TV. And correspondingly, plus, minus and thermal sensor. And also here plus, minus, and the terminal for the thermal sensor. So the device measures the internal resistance of this battery, more exactly the resistance of its thermistor or thermal sensor, and in case the temperature is extremely high or maybe very low, the device cannot start or stops working. Here we should have the same situation, but exactly should have, because the situation is a bit different, and I'll explain it a bit later. 10 kilo ohms. This battery sometimes shows the internal resistance and sometimes not. I didn't reveal the reason so far. And here 10 kilo ohms in normal conditions. Let's try to turn this device on only by means of plus and minus contacts. Well, this is plus. Uh, this is minus. Absolutely no reaction. Let's use the third terminal. And it's okay. Once again. It's not possible to turn it on. But in case the battery is completely installed into the device. Let's try to use another battery. By mentioning of internal resistance of all these batteries, I mean the resistance of the thermal sensors. So the resistance of thermal sensor here and here amounted to 10 kilo ohms. Here I have the corresponding resistor. Let's check it. 9.7. And let's try to cheat this device. No, nothing. So in case of absence of the thermal protection, you can use the Parkside vacuum cleaner with any 20 volt power supply. Now let's use another battery together with this device. I really have no idea why it is not possible to measure the resistance of the thermal sensor. Maybe there is a protection circuit inside, but anyway the resistance of 10 kilo ohms satisfies the device. 
plus minus and thermal sensor. Well, let's try. And it's great. As to this battery. And it works. Even you don't need to remake this device, change its internal circuit and solder 10 kilo ohm resistor. As to the angle grinder, plus goes to plus. Minus goes to minus. And thermal sensor goes to thermal sensor terminal. And what if we remove this third one? Sometimes it may occur during functioning of the device. But what if we try to turn it on now without this third wire? And it's great. So you have no need to use the third terminal and you can use this device together with any 20 volt battery. Well, let's check it. Sometimes there are situations when you have only one battery which in addition to its loneliness is old and very weak so you have no sense to use it but at the same time you have another batteries and you should not make a converter from this battery to another one but you may even glue the adapter to the angle grinder for example i have some batteries from enco company and in case of this battery dies I may disassemble it and replace all the batteries, but in case it's too expensive, I will glue this adapter to the angle grinder and use all these batteries together with this device. But in fact, this is not the adapter of these three batteries. It's only the charging adapter for the works battery. And in order to use all these batteries together with this device, we need something like this. So here we have the adapter of Parkside. But it also works with the ENCO batteries. You can notice that the shapes of these two batteries are too similar. But here we have electronics problem and in one of my next videos I'll tell you how to solve this problem and use ENCO batteries together with Parkside devices. Besides the batteries, I would like to draw your attention to a very special issue. So, as you have already seen, you can measure the resistance of the thermal sensor of the battery and thus cheat the device you want to use. Of course, in case you have the battery. Or maybe you can find a person who uses the corresponding device and ask him to measure the resistance of the battery thermal sensor. If this method is not possible, you can get a potentiometer and try to turn your device on, increasing the resistance step by step. But in some cases it will not help you. And here is the example. Lux Tools angle grinder, standard spindle diameter, 115 mm cutting disc diameter. One of the advantages of this device is RPM regulator and also three positions of the holder. One, two, three. 
but the problem for me in connection with this device is that I've got it as a bare tool, hoping that I would cheat this angle grinder, but unfortunately it can work with none of these four batteries. Now about the reason of this problem. Here we can see only plus, here minus, and here no inscription. But if you see the battery, the central terminal is marked with C. Well, this is not Celsius, and also it has nothing common with analog signal. So if you try to cheat this device and connect plus and minus, for example, from this battery to this angle grinder, it works within two seconds and then stops functioning. I've tried to cheat this device with the help of the potentiometer from 0 up to 100 kilo ohms, step by step of course, but nothing helped. And after that I asked one of the YouTube users to measure the resistance between minus and C. It was approximately 94 kilo ohms, but it also didn't help. So the only solution was to buy Lux Tools battery for this device. Anyway, I have found another solution, which will be described in one of my next reviews. Hope this video was interesting and helpful for you. Thanks for watching. Wish you good luck.